Welcome. So today I thought I'd do a quick video here talking about the uh, bucket quest here in Lords of the Fallen. So I'm here at the Vestige of Chibui. I think that's how you say it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so you're going to need a couple of things to start this quest. So I've done gone ahead and killed everything out here just so I can show you real quick. So the first thing you need to pick up is you need to pick up the uh, gesture. It's the Bucket Lord's Salute. And it is hidden right over here. Oh, oh, don't fall down. So right at the top of my head there, there's a bucket. Uh, and you should see a little wisp of a tail of an item hanging out from the top of it. So, so as you can see, uh, that is two buckets. You won't see it there. You'll see it right where the yellow is at, but... Come on. Or, well, okay, right there between my horns there. You should see just the end of a little tail indicating that there's an item there. So you just want to fall down. And that'll break everything, and then you can grab it. <clears throat> so now that you've got the gesture, you can run on in here. You don't need to rest. Just run on in here. You want to climb on up. Now, I did this as part of, you know, just, I've already completed the game, so, uh, haven't started New Game Plus yet, so, I mean, this was very easy for me. I just basically warped to different vestiges and was fine. But, uh, what you want to do is you want to, there's a guy in here, you want to get your lantern, go, up, you know, use it to cross in, go in here, talk to him, well, you don't really talk to him, but, uh, he has the Condemned set. And he also has the starting weapon for the Condemned set, which is the Broken Bucket. So then, what you want to do... I would just suggest... Going down here, and just resetting at the Vestige. But you want to strip everything off, and climb back up here. You want to take everything off. And then you just in your main right hand, you want to put the broken bucket on. Oops, wrong hand. It's difficult to... There we go. You want to whip out your lantern again, you'll cross over. Talk to him again. You'll do the gestures. You want to do the gestures. You want to greet him. Let the gestures complete before you go to the next gesture. You want to point downward. And then you want to do the Bucket Lord Salute. There we go. Alright, so anyway, having done all that, you should then be able to talk to him. You can go ahead and put your clothes back on. That's the last time you need to put weird stuff on, so yeah, I'll just go ahead and put all your regular stuff back on. But you'll know, whoops, wrong gauntlets. But you'll know that you have done it right. Because you will see that there is an item waiting for you now. So, I'm just going to. You'll see it right down there where my horns are at, but I'll go show you real quick. We'll just run and drop down. No need to kill these guys. But yeah, you should see it right about here. And having done this already, you killed all the enemies. Uh, they were... The uh, way of the bucket item was always here, or I mean, uh, you know, was just waiting in the boss arena area. And 
uh, oh, excuse me, the pride of the Bucket Lords. And so, uh, you can only get four at a time, uh, and then you want to come back to him. You'll get a Bucket Helm for the first four. You'll get a Bucket Shoes. I forget what you get for the third one, but anyway, and when you turn into the third batch of four, he will uh, tell you where to go to get the bucket. <clears throat> so, uh, I did Scourge Sister to Leth, then the Mistress of Hounds, Crimson Rector Percival, and who was over there by uh, 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 Oh god, I forgot the name. Uh, and then the Ruiner guy over there by the uh, shrine area. So I was just able to just go, like I said, just warp to the different vestiges and was, you know, just able to go get him. Uh, so. But that's one thing that you can certainly do is just if you've already completed the game or gotten mostly through it. Uh, the second batch I did was Skin Stealer. Cronier, Guardian, Bullard, Griefbound, Rowena, and the Infernal Enchantress. Again, uh, so like the Mistress of Hounds and all of them, they were over by this vestige. I just ran back to him, and then you know the Ruiners on the bridge and uh, Crimson Rector Percival. Uh, he's kind of in his own little spot off just to the side, uh, back between the shrine and uh, where you fought uh, the Mistress of Hounds Lady. And Skin Stealer, that one, uh, you can get there going to Calrath and taking the elevator back down or lift, whatever. Uh, the Guardian Fallard and Griefbound Rowena, those were. Uh, over, uh, yeah, they were all by the thief, thief of the Chill Curse, um, and then the Infernal Enchantress was over here by the Depot, and then from the Abbey, you can really quickly go back and get Abbas Ursula, the Carrion Knight by the Tower. And then the Abiding Defenders are all just real quick right there. Probably the one that took the most time to actually run to to get was the uh, the last one I did, which was the Sacred Residence of Tenacity, uh, which was over by the Bell Room Vestige. You have to get that uh, key from the guy for the Pilgrim's Perch thing to get that door open. Uh, but... Once you've done all that, uh, you'll come back here. Like I said, you'll come back after you get first four, get the item from him. You'll come back after the second four, you get the item from him. You come back to the third four that you've done, and he'll tell you where to go. Where you're going is the ale house. I'll just show you it real quick. All you gotta do. <laughs> Drop down. Drop down. Climb the ladder. Drop down. Run through here. Break this. Continue running. Go ahead and kill this guy if you want to. It's up to you. Keep running. Keep running. Drop on down. There's a ruiner here. You're just gonna want to take him out as quickly as possible. Two casts of that should be good enough. Don't go Umbral here, because there's the Mendacious Visage. You know, 
I mean, you can if you want to, but I really wouldn't recommend it. If you're just here for that. Oops. Yeah, there it is. Right here. Hey, bud. But there is a uh, slightly quintessence there on the backside here, I think. So, you know, you might want to go get them. But anyway, you want to run up here? You want to run in here? Your item will be right in here. The item, it's a gilded bucket. Not really sure what the hell that's supposed to do, but, you know, hey. Nobody asked me, so. But I'll go ahead and show it to you real quick. So, as you can see, it doesn't weigh a lot. It's decent, you know, for starting. It's decent strength, agility, scaling. Uh, you know, it gives you some smite, some burn and some wither and as you can see it's 72 attack power very little of it physical it's spread across holy fire and wither um, strength requirements are 12 and 12 so I don't know that it's really all that great personally it's definitely not for me I think that you know there was a real you know as good as the first one was as far as you know just being able to you know go and, and you know give people the item discovery thing uh, the mask, this, pretty niche. I don't know that, that it's really anything major, but if you want a bucket that's got good, you know, strength and agility scaling and it's got some status effect build up, this is the weapon for you. Um, one other thing, if you are going through the game, um, and put, and start this quest, uh, supposedly the, uh, bucket guy will help you out on the quest. So, there is that. Uh, I will link to the Fextra Life wiki, because there's a lot of comments in there. Apparently, it's uh, very easy to fail this. So, definitely want to make you aware of that. So, you know, you can use that to refer to in case you do find that, you know, something's gone wrong and you're not able to get it to progress. So, hopefully, somebody will be able to, you know, you know see what what's going on and maybe help you out that way or you know uh, you can just put your experience with it in there and you know somebody might be able to have already commented that might help you out but anyway hope you enjoyed that hope you found it useful i didn't but that's just me uh, but yeah hope you're having a great day talk to you soon